What makes a basketball player legendary? Is it their stats, their records, or is it something more? When you think of Caitlin Clark, what's the first word that comes to mind? Fearless. She plays like she's got something to prove every single time she steps onto the court. But here's the kicker. She doesn't just play the game, she changes it. The 2024 WNBA season has seen a number of rookies come and go, but only one of them claimed the coveted Rookie of the Year award. That's right, Caitlin Clark. But it wasn't an easy ride, and honestly, would we have expected anything less? Her journey to this point has been nothing short of incredible, marked by relentless dedication, tough competition, and yes, even controversy. But before we dive into her Rookie of the Year win, let's ask a question. What truly defines greatness in an athlete? Is it the ability to dominate statistically or the impact they leave on the league and fans alike? For Caitlin Clark, the answer is simple. It's both. Caitlin Clark's WNBA journey began with enormous expectations. After leading Iowa to the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship and breaking the all-time college scoring record, she was selected as the number one overall pick by the Indiana Fever. The hype was real. Clark was not just entering the WNBA. She was stepping into it as a star, with fans and analysts alike expecting nothing short of brilliance. And Caitlin? Well, she didn't disappoint. She immediately became the face of the Indiana Fever. And why wouldn't she? Clark started all 40 regular season games, averaging 19.2 points per game and leading the league in assists with 8.4 per game. This wasn't just a personal victory. It was a team revolution. And let's be real. Who saw the fever making that leap? But here's where it gets even more interesting. While Caitlin was breaking assist records and filling highlight reels, another rookie was making waves, Angel Reese, drafted by the Chicago Sky. Reese brought her own set of skills to the table, dominating the boards and drawing comparisons to legends like Joachim Noah. Naturally, the media played up the rivalry between these two rising stars. Remember those heated matchups? Clark and Reese met four times during the regular season, with the Fever winning three out of four. While Reese was stronger in the paint, pulling down more rebounds, Clark showed off her all-around game, registering more assists in all four meetings. The rivalry between the two rookies wasn't just about numbers, it was a clash of playing styles and personalities. But let's not overlook the off-court drama. Reese and Clark's rivalry had been buzzing even before they entered the WNBA, with rumors swirling about clashes and courtroom intensity. When the two met, it was always physical, competitive, and high stakes. There was even an infamous incident in June when Reese received a flagrant foul after an aggressive attempt to block Clark resulted in a hit to the head. Was it intentional or just two competitors going all out? Either way, it added more fuel to the rivalry and kept fans glued to the screens. However, despite the hype, Caitlin's performance throughout the season consistently outshone her competition including Reese. She wasn't just the best rookie, she was leading the charge for the future of the WNBA. And let's talk about those impact stats. It's not just about how many points you drop or how many dimes you dish out. It's about your overall contribution to the game. Caitlin Clark did more than just put up numbers. Her presence on the court brought attention to the fever like never before. Ticket sales soared, viewership numbers climbed. Suddenly, Indiana Fever games were must-watch TV, and much of that was thanks to Clark's electrifying performances. But what sets Caitlin apart is her mental toughness. Despite all the buzz, the comparisons, and the criticism, she stayed focused. She didn't get caught up in the noise. She let her game speak for itself. Clark's competitive fire isn't just a show for the fans. It's the core of her identity as a player. When you watch her play, you're seeing someone who's constantly evolving, striving to be better every game. And that's where her Rookie of the Year campaign shines the brightest. The stats are impressive. Yes, leading the WNBA in assists, breaking the rookie scoring record, becoming the first rookie ever to record a triple-double. All of that is groundbreaking. But what makes Caitlin Clark truly special is how she elevates the people around her. The Fever didn't just become better because they drafted a talented player, they became a contender. Because Caitlin Clark made everyone on that team believe they could be better. The race for Rookie of the Year wasn't without its debates. While Caitlin Clark's all-around performance and leadership in taking her team to the playoffs made her the obvious choice, Angel Reese had a standout season too. Known for her dominance in rebounding, Reese led the league in that category before a wrist injury cut her season short. Her supporters, including NBA star Joachim Noah, felt she deserved the honor. Though Clark ultimately claimed the award, it wasn't unanimous. One voter backed Reese, possibly for her physical dominance and potential. Even Rutgers freshman standout Ace Bailey during his media day said he'd seek advice from Reese, citing her fierce competitiveness. While Clark's rookie season was legendary, Reese's influence on and off the court remains undeniable. This rivalry between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark has deep roots, dating back to their unforgettable meeting in the 2023 NCAA Women's National Championship game. In that iconic game, 
Reese's LSU team took down Clark in Iowa, with Reese famously pointing to her finger in a viral celebration that sparked an intense debate across social media. Reese's gesture was seen by some as a taunt, while others celebrated her confidence and boldness. The moment became bigger than basketball, representing broader discussions of competitiveness, race, and perception in women's sports. But let's be real, folks. Forget Angel Reese for a moment because it's our girl Caitlin Clark who's on top of the charts right now. She's the one holding the Rookie of the Year trophy. Every accolade she's received this season is a testament to her sheer dedication and talent. Following the announcement of her Rookie of the Year win, reactions poured in from all corners of the sports world. Clark herself took to social media, reposting shoutouts from her key supporters and sponsors. The Indiana Fever, Wilson Basketball, Gatorade, Nike, and State Farm were just a few of the big names hyping up their star. After reposting their celebratory messages, Clark shared something a bit more personal, a photo of herself and her boyfriend, Connor McCaffrey. In the photo, Caitlin is embracing McCaffrey, captured in a special moment from WNBA draft night. Her caption, simple but sweet, I'm lucky, accompanied by a black heart emoji. It's a small glimpse into her life off the court and a reminder that behind the fierce competitor is a woman who stays grounded, cherishing her support system. Indiana Fever head coach Christy Sides also took to social media to congratulate her star player, posting a picture of her and Clark sharing the moment WNBA commissioner Kathy Engelbert delivered the big news. Sides, who is in her second season as the Fever's head coach, didn't hold back in her praise for Clark, writing, that's our roadie. Super proud of you, Topper 22. Well deserved. Sides' pride is understandable. Under her guidance, the Fever made an incredible turnaround this season. After a difficult first season with a 13-27 record, Sides led the Fever to an even 2020 record in 2024, securing the number six seed in the WNBA standings. Clark's contributions were undeniably a driving force behind that success. She didn't just put up numbers. She brought the team to life, creating opportunities and pushing them into the playoffs for the first time in eight years. As the season wraps up, the real excitement lies ahead, not just for Caitlin Clark, but for the Indiana Fever. After breaking their playoff drought, the Fever have a taste for victory, and with Clark at the helm, they're hungry for more. Next season, expect Indiana to come back stronger, with their eyes set on a deeper playoff run. But the offseason, that's where Caitlin will put in the work. While others rest, she'll be in the gym, fine-tuning her shot, improving her leadership, and preparing for the next step. With Coach Christie Sides and a young, motivated core, the Fever are building a culture of winning, and Clark is at the center of it. Don't be surprised if Indiana comes out next season ready to dominate. The league has been warned, Caitlin Clark and the Fever are just getting started.